So, we are actually back in the UK. Uh, we are briefly here because my best friend got married. I was a bridesmaid. It was a beautiful day, a beautiful wedding. <laughs> oh no! Oh my god! Tie break! Um, and then whilst we were here, then we took the chance to go visit our families and also we went to see some friends in London as well. Watched a lot of the Euros football and incredibly... I managed to get a ticket to the final thanks to my Italian friend Alvise. <laughs> So that was an amazing experience. I mean, I'm absolutely heartbroken that we lost the final, obviously. Um, but wow, it was incredible to be at you know, Wembley that day was ridiculous. So lucky <laughs> in our short time we've been back. Yeah. So now what we're doing is kind of prepping for the next stage of our trip. We've been packing, but whilst we've been here, we also thought it'd be a really good idea to kind of recap on our last trip. Yeah, so, we, so we're going to give our top five experiences from Mexico and Guatemala and then talk a little bit about what's coming next. Yeah, stay tuned. <laughs> okay, first of all, Mexico, starting from fifth to first, our fifth favorite experience is the food in Tulum. So whether it's the cheaper eats you can get at Taqueria Honorio, which we absolutely love for breakfast, and then the more expensive places near the beach, and obviously we did a whole video about our favorite food in Tulum. Ukami, the place that did both Japanese and Mexican fusion is still, I still think about that sushi every single day. It was so good. Yeah. But yeah, the, the, the food in Tulum um, in particular um, was a real highlight for us. Fourth place is one of my favorite things that we did was the Kahunlich ruins. So we saw a huge amount of Mayan ruins when we were in Yucatan. Um, but I think the Kahunlich ones were uh, our favorite. Our favorite. Um, they were in the jungle, it had this real kind of uh, jungle book vibe to it. We had such a good tour there, learned so, much, so many things. So that's definitely well worth a visit. Throughout all of Mexico, and this isn't really a specific place, but I suppose you could pinpoint it to the beaches in Tulum. Um, all the sunrises and sunsets that we saw over time were just amazing and exactly why you go to those type of places. I think there was that one beach sunrise in particular in one of our first few days there, um, which was just absolutely glorious. And even when we found that little private piece of beach to us, just to ourselves, yeah. um, it's absolutely awesome. Yep, so worth getting up early for. So second most favourite thing that we did was visit the Shan Khan Reserve um, down by Tulum, but specifically doing the Lazy River in the Muyul Lagoon. Um, that was just so incredible, we were the only people there. And you just float along for like 45 minutes, just having a lovely time. Yeah, and also in Shan Khan, that amazing drive we did, which is separated by the sea and the lagoon, yeah. is just something that I've not really seen before, so it was really cool. And then number one, I think our favourite place we visited in, I say Mexico, but you know, specifically the Yucatan region where we were, Bacala, the incredible lake of seven colours. Um, it really was just the most relaxing place, really good food, amazing. We saw the Los Rapidos, that was really cool, and just the general colour and vibe and relaxing nature of where we went. Yeah. Um, Bacala, I think, is our favourite place we went to in Mexico so far. I think so. But as we said, we only stuck to the Yucatan area, so there's so much of Mexico that we still need to go and see. Yeah. So Guatemala, um, we actually went to nearly all of Guatemala. We saw a lot of the country compared to Mexico and we absolutely loved it. Didn't really know much about Guatemala before going and now we just recommend everyone should go and see it. Yeah. We literally visited everywhere apart from the two coasts. So like El Paradón and the beach to the west mm -hmm. and then Rio Dulce and Livingston to the east. I'm sure yeah. at some point our lives will go back to Guatemala and see those places too. But Absolutely. our top five places 
in Guatemala mm -hmm. are as follows. Fifth most favorite thing, place, was just simply Antigua, staying in Antigua, eating in Antigua. We basically felt like we were living there because it's quite central. So every time we kind of went to a different area of the country, we would do a pit stop in Antigua. And at the end, we had a few days spare and we ended up just staying in Antigua again. So I think we stayed in five different hotels in Antigua, so we know it pretty well. And we can <laughs> yeah. say that we really did enjoy it. Yeah, incredible with the views of the volcano, amazing food, such diverse cuisine, amazing. Mm -hmm. Number four is the Mayan Kingdom of Tikal, one of our more recent videos. Probably my favourite, or our favourite, Mayan site we visited. Not only is it just the beautiful structures and the history to it, which is extraordinary, but mm -hmm. the fact there's like 60 kilometres of just pure walking that you can do in the kind of area. It took us about an hour or an hour and a bit to get across the park to Temple 4. Mm -hmm. um, the views from which are incredible, the that sound from the howler monkeys were ridiculous. just an amazing temple that you absolutely must visit and is worth the money and worth the hype. Number three uh, was actually the El Mirador trek. So this was trekking through the jungle to go see the El Mirador Mayan ruins. We visited the La, La Danta Pyramid, which is the largest pyramid in all of Central America, yep. um, which was an incredible thing to see and to have experience. We were told that there was only a thousand people visit El Mirador every single year. Mm -hmm. So we feel very lucky and in our small group of three with Sarah, um, <laughs> it was literally just us. Usually they have groups of like 30 or so. So yeah. that was pretty special for us. Yeah, and it was outside of seeing the Mayan ruins. It was the walking through the jungle, seeing incredible wildlife, all the different birds that we saw. The monkeys. The monkeys, really close up, um, just in the wild, camping in the jungle, incredible tour guides, very special. Very difficult and sweaty um, experience. <laughs> so number two is Lake Atitlan. I mean, I think it speaks for itself, this incredible lake that is just surrounded by all these cities, all these volcanoes, really is one of the best places we've ever been together. Yeah. We stayed in Pajachel and San Pedro and also the most amazing Airbnb ever near Jabalito, which was absolutely awesome. Every morning we'd get up and look at the volcanoes over the lake. It's just an incredible sight. And I think that Indian nose trek yeah. was so easy and so rewarding at yeah. the time of the morning. You could just look over everything. The author, Aldous Huxley, actually said about it, it's like Lake Como in Italy, but with volcanoes. And I think that's pretty good praise. Sums it up well. <laughs> Okay, number one. <laughs> Top experience in Guatemala was 100% doing the Acatenango hike, seeing fuego erupting in front of our eyes all night long, an incredibly difficult but rewarding hike, and overall best experience. Probably the best thing we've seen. Yeah, genuinely, that sitting on one volcano and looking at another volcano is something that I don't think many people can say that they've done. Um, it looked beautiful. I've shown everyone I can in England about the picture I took of the <laughs> volcano. <laughs> Literal random strangers, you'll just go up and show people. <laughs> um, but it really was pretty special and the raw power of the volcano, when we were trying to sleep at 2.30 it felt like a bomb had gone off. Um, kind of distressing at the time, but it was a, an amazing thing to see. So overall, our entire kind of stage one of our world travels in Mexico and Guatemala were absolutely incredible. We had such a fun time and saw amazing things. We are now itching to go off again. We actually got a flight booked very soon. And now we're gonna go and start packing. <laughs> so the time has come to repack. Uh, for the next trip, it's gonna be quite different. So there's lots of things for me to figure out. I thought, there's not much space inside. I'm gonna come out here and enjoy the sunshine and try to pack my bag with all the many layers that we need for the next trip. There we go. A few things missing, but I think I've done it. I'm also now very sweaty. Meanwhile, I am just trying to sort out all of this mess, all of my tech stuff, and repack this. 
nowhere near as efficiently as stuff has. One thing I do have to show you is this amazing t-shirt. <laughs> our first official, well unofficial, merchandise. Thanks to our friends Alex and Frankie who are literally like our biggest fans who we saw for dinner in London and they gave me this as an early birthday present so shout out to them. You made it into the video guys. <laughs> Do you want to tell the lovely people of YouTube what we've just heard from our pilot? So we're due to land in Mexico City in half an hour, bearing in mind it's already about 2am for us. And now we've been told that the weather's too bad. We're diverted to Houston, Texas, to refuel and then go back and make another attempt to Mexico City. Good news! We are in Dallas, not Mexico City. It's now approaching 6 a.m. UK time. We're meant to be there several hours ago. And hopefully we'll be in Mexico soon. That's the reason why we're back in Mexico, because you basically have to be outside of the UK for 14 days. So we thought we would go around some of the areas we didn't go around last time. So last time we were in Mexico, we were over obviously in the Riviera Maya, um, on the y Yucatan side. We went to Tulum, etc. This time we're in the capital, Mexico City, and then we're going to hit up Oaxaca and the beachside area of Puerto Escondido, which we're excited to see the next couple of weeks. Yep. So there's a few videos coming for those and then to America, hopefully they let us in, um, <laughs> where we're going to go to San Francisco mm -hmm. and then from there we're basically going to rent a car and check out as many national parks as we can in California and Utah and wherever else we might be taking on that trip. So we're so excited to have officially started the next leg of our travels um, and actually excitingly we have created a joint travel Instagram account um, so that we stop spamming our personal accounts. <laughs> Time to plug it, what's it called? How do you follow it? It's called MikeAndSteph.Travels. Easy. We are going to go explore Mexico City. Let's, Let's go. go. <laughs> 